Hi, I'm Nick from digiwiz.co.uk and today I'd like to show you how to transfer your old vinyl and cassettes onto CD for free. And actually I'm just going to show you the vinyl today but the cassette uh, to do cassettes is uh, pretty much the same process except with cassettes instead of vinyl. So anyway, let's get started. First of all, you're going to need four things. First of all, you are going to need a record player or a record deck, a turntable, that sort of thing. Don't go and buy an expensive USB one. You don't need one. This is why I said you can do this for free. You've probably got everything you need uh, in your own house. So, number one, record player or a stereo, something like that. Number two, you're going to need a lead to connect that to your record player, either a uh, jack to jack or a phono to jack lead. Uh, the next thing you're going to need is a computer. We're going to use the computer uh, pretty much like a tape recorder and just record straight from the vinyl onto the um, computer and clean it up a little bit, save it as an MP3 or a WAV file for your listening pleasure. The last thing you're going to need, of course, is some software to make your computer act like a tape recorder. Uh, the one we're going to use is called Audacity, and the reason we're going to use it is because it's free. Go to download.com and get a copy from there. Okay, so we've got the four things we need. Let's get started. I'll see you uh, next door. Record player. Okay, so I've got my uh, record player here. <coughs> I'll just pop that out of the way of my workspace. Go on. So the next thing we need is a lead to plug the record player into the computer. And because this record player has got phono outputs, what I'm going to use is a phono lead on one end to a mini jack on the other end to plug into the computer. Okay, so we're ready to start recording. So I'm going to open up the Audacity program. There we go. I've maximized it so I get a better view. I'm going to check, first of all, that we're set to record stereo. So I'm going to go Edit, Preferences, and check that the channels here is set to stereo, which it is. Okay. Then I'm just going to check that I've got the correct sound input set, microphone. That's exactly what we want. So we're ready to go. So I'm going to press record. You can see the uh, time bar moving along there. And I'm going to press start on the record player. There we go, that's our first song recorded, so I'm going to go ahead and press stop. You can also use the space bar on your keyboard as the play and stop button. Uh, another little thing to tell you about this program is using control, the control button and the scroll button on your mouse will zoom in and out of the waveform that we've just recorded. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just clean this up a little bit, so I need to select a section of audio before the song starts uh, just by clicking and dragging to select that and then I'm going to go into effect noise removal get noise profile back to effect noise removal again and remove noise and there we go you can see some of the little uh, spikes on the waveform disappeared there there's lots more you can do in this effect more with noise removal etc 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 what you should have also noticed is that our bars here never hit the note while we were recording if they did it would have distorted but it didn't so we're alright now I'm going to zoom in and just trim off the beginning and the end of the song so let's just check where this starts there it is so we'll just trim from about here again click and drag to highlight 
and then we'll just hit delete to get rid of that do the same at the other end of the song let's find the end there we go click and drag and delete there we go if I zoom out again with control and the scroll bar on the mouse we can see the entire waveform I'm just gonna click and drag highlight all of that file export as wave and then I'm gonna save it in my music and I'm gonna make a new folder <coughs> excuse me a new folder and I'm gonna call that vinyl I'm gonna call my wave that I've just recorded help and click save and that's all there is to it that's how you turn uh, vinyl into a CD for cassette it's exactly the same come out of your cassette player using the appropriate lead into the line in on your computer check the volume record the track in audacity save it as a wave or an mp3 whichever you prefer and then burn it to CD and do whatever you want with it hope that helped for more help and advice keep watching here or come to digiwiz.co.uk bye for now